Amigos, welcome to another amazing After Effects tutorial. As you're probably listening, I have a little bit of the sniffles, so I'm gonna try to make this as quickly as possible. But you've requested this tutorial, and it's using the new version of Mocha AE for After Effects CC 2019 because they kind of switched it up a little bit how it works, but still, this is swapping heads for CC 2019, and on top of that, a little bonus how to create the Spider Verse look for your footage. Now, I'm collaborating with the people over at Boris FX, which they own Mocha, and part of that collaboration is to create more tutorials, not only on Mocha, but more of their products, and they're offering me and you an amazing discount, 15% off, uno cinco, on any of their products. So if you're interested, check out, I have a discount code in my description below, and the link so you can go check out what they have, and as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't so, and turn on the little bell notification so you know and you're up to date when a video tutorial is uploaded. So let's get started right away. So let's start, let's import our footage, control I to import, and I'm gonna select this shot and hit import. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag to the composition icon to make a composition with the same resolution and the same frame rate as our footage. Okay, I'm gonna mute the audio for this layer. So let's click on this icon and I'm gonna make it to fit up to 100%. So you guys, amigos, you can check it out. So it's pretty simple. It's a shot of me at the famous Metropolitan Museum of Art and I'm just walking towards the camera. We're gonna track my head and we're gonna put the Spider-Man mask on top of my head. It's pretty straightforward and we're gonna be using Mocha AE CC 2019. So make sure that you have your layer selected and there's two ways. You can either activate the plugin through Effect, Boris Effect Mocha, Mocha AE CC, or you can go to Animation, track in Boris FX Mocha. Either way works. Now, once you have it in the FX controls panel, all you need to do to launch the plugin is hit this button, Mocha, and it launches the plugin. And let's close this window. And hit start. Okay, now, it looks a little bit different. What they did is they introduced this new interface called Essential, which pretty much just simplified the interface, the whole workflow. And it's a lot easier for new people who are learning to use Mocha with this new interface. If you're familiar with the older version and you want more of the advanced tools, you can quickly go and switch back to the classic mode. So you have the classic interface or you can switch it to the essentials, which is a pretty basic, pretty straightforward, basic interface. Now for this tutorial, let's just use the essential because it's new. And that's what we want to explore in this tutorial, the new features of Mocha AE CC 2019. Now for this shot, since it's pretty straightforward, I'm just walking towards the camera. Let me, let's just drag through. And we're going to track my head. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to track my head and a little bit of my upper torso. We see, we see that we have some design on the t-shirt, which is going to also help Mocha do the tracking. Now, if I was looking to the left or if I was looking to the right, then I would definitely not only track my head, but also my whole torso. So let's go back to the first frame. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to hit Z to zoom in, X to move. And let's go to the X spline tool. And let's loosely draw a shape around my head. Perfect. And I'm going to include a little bit of the design. And I'm going to click right here to close it and I can move this point. Now, this is very important. You see it created this layer. Let's name this layer. Let's double click and let's call it head and torso or let's put head and upper torso. Okay, now we're only interested in the translation, in the scale, in the rotation. So let's deselect the skew. And what I'm going to do now is last, let's do the tracking. So I'm going to hit this button, this triangle to analyze forward and Mocha will do its magic and it's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this section of the video. Okay, it's going to reach a point where the tracker is going to get lost. We're not going to be able to see my head, but that's okay because we don't need that. From that point on, we don't need to track anymore. So 
we can let it run out okay so we got that air and that is okay because we are not interested in that portion of the video we're only interested like I mentioned for the very first four or five seconds and up to this point that's perfect so you can see that it did a pretty good job of tracking my head and there we go so we're gonna probably finish around frame 108 or 110 now in the previous versions of Mocha, there is an export button where you export all this tracking data. Now, in this new version, you don't have that export tracking data button. What you need to do instead is you need to save your project. So let's go to File, Save the Project, and we need to exit the plugin. And let's go back to After Effects. Let's create a new null object, and let's call it Let's click on it and let's call it head tracker. Let's go back to our shop where we have the Mocha plugin. And now we have this new feature called tracking data. So let's drill down and there's several properties. So let's go to export option and let's click on it. And we have three. We have corner pin, corner pin, which supports motion blur and transform. So for this case, we're only interested in the transform. So let's select transform. And it says, where do we want to export this? So let's click and let's choose our null object, which we renamed it to head tracker. And the last thing that we need to do is where it says create track data. Let's click on it. And remember, this is a layer inside of Mocha that we named. And let's click on the little gear icon because it says we want this tracking data and hit OK. So it loaded all that tracking data from Mocha. The very last step is to hit apply export. And as a rule of thumb, the time indicator, I like putting it at the very beginning of your timeline. It's not necessary, I think, for this version. But like I said, rule of thumb, if it's over here, just go all the way to the beginning and hit apply export. Okay, let's go to our tracker, hit U to reveal all the keyframes. And you can see that it brought all that data and it's in our tracker. And we're going to need it right up to here. That's fine. And from here, that's all we need. So let's go back to the Spider-Man mask. I'm not going to show you step by step. Instead, I'm going to give you a quick overview. I just cut out this mask in Photoshop, brought it in After Effects. And all I did for the eyes was pretty simple. Just scaled it up. You can see that I put the anchor point down here. And if I go frame by frame, it just scales up. And then the mask, let me show you, the mask of Spider-Man, I created mask. <laughs> so each mask has a mask. And what I'm doing is just cutting between these different sections of the mask. So if we go to, for example, mask four, hit MM, you can see that we, this one has a mask. And if I solo it, this is what it has. This is what it looks like. So... The Spider-Man mask has a mask. So pretty simple. This is how this little mask just animates. And it's in its own comp. And what I'm going to do is, very simple, just bring in the Spider-Man mask, the Spider-Verse. Let's bring it in. And it animates right around here. So what we can do is hit S for scale and shift P for the position. And I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna scale this down. Scale it down to about 50. Let's move it. And then we can rotate it W for the rotation tool. And then we can rotate it just a little bit. Let's see, right around there, perfect. And the last thing that we need to do is just parent this mask to our null object like always. So using the pick whip, let's just parent it to the tracker. And let's go back, fit it to 100%, 100 and let's play it back. There you go. Okay, so obviously in this section, 
we would need to do some rotoscoping on my fingers and put it on top of the mask and I'm going to show you that and how to do the spider verse look in the next section of the video because we're going to go back to After Effects 2018 where I have most of my plugins. I'm going to quickly give you an overview of how to create the spider verse look. Now for this one, it's basically two things. Number one is creating this pattern of dots or a half tone pattern. And number two is creating the RGB split. So let's go over the first one and the dots. So let's hide this adjustment layer and you can see that I have a couple plugins and we're going to go over these. So don't worry. Let me hide this for now. And you can see that hopefully you can see that we have a whole pattern of dots. And if I solo this, it's just a circle and pretty easy. I created it with a shape layer, the lips tool. And if I drill down to the contents, I just use a repeater. The first repeater is to create the first row and the second repeater is to create all the columns. But you can always go to Google Images, just type in halftone pattern and you can download any of these halftone patterns. It'll actually give it a very nice look. And once you do, bring it back into After Effects and you can use a blending mode, experiment. I use soft light and I drop down the opacity to 65. One more thing that I did was I tracked the background. I went back into Mocha, tracked the background, and I connected the halftone pattern or these dots to the background. So it's moving with the background. Okay, let's go back and let's go back to this adjustment layer. And let's go one by one. Number one is I added the cartoon effect and it made it look like that. And I was pretty lazy. I didn't even adjust any of these parameters. And to go to the cartoon, just go to effect, stylize, cartoon. The next thing is I added a color curves just to make it a little bit brighter. And the last one is I used Red Giant, part of the Red Giant universe. They have RGB separation and that's to create the RGB split. Now, I know some of you don't have the Red Giant Universe plugin, so I'm going to show you how to do it manually, how to do this RGB split. So let me hide this effect. And what I'm going to do is let's go back to my comp and I'm going to basically pre comp this. And let me show you how to create the RGB split. Let's go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect. So make sure you select your layer or your footage or your comp and go to channel and let's go to shift channels. And this one will be for the red channel. So we want to take the red from the red and then we're going to turn off the green. We're going to turn off the blue and let's label this red. Let me mute the audio. So let's go back make a copy control D and this one will be for the green. So let's rename it to green and let's turn off the red. Let's take the green from the green channel. Perfect and the blue is off. Perfect. So let's go back, make another copy, one last copy, control D, and this one will be the blue channel. And we want the red off, the green off, and the blue from the blue. So the blue is from the blue, the green is only from the green, and the red is from the red, and everything else is off except for the alpha. Okay, now let's take the green and the blue, let's switch the blending mode to add, and you might ask KCM, it's exactly the same. It is until we select the position of these. And once we start messing around with the position, we have our RGB split. So that's pretty cool. Now you can also, what you can also do is you can go to the red channel or any of the, the channels and you can add a, any of the distort effects. So for example, we can go to warp. And we can add a cool one to add is the fisheye. That's a pretty cool one. You can add the bulge. Another good one to add is go to distort. You can do turbulent displace and you can just experiment with this. It's a little psychedelic, but it's that's pretty cool. And like I mentioned, you can always just shift these. So that's how to create your RGB split without any plugins. But since I have the plugin, you know, just make it easy, easier for me, I'm going to apply it. And that's how I created this look. Now for the second look for the spider verse for this one, it's 
a lot easier than you think. You can see that we have the dots, right? And all I did was pretty simple, just use CC threshold RGB. And you can activate it by going to effect, stylize, CC threshold RGB. And for this one, I just dropped the threshold down to 20. I inverted the red channel. And let's see, just play around with it. Really just play around with it, get different looks. There's no right or wrong way. This is something that's very experimental. Okay, amigos, that is how I created these looks. And the glitch is simply from Video Copilot Twitch. And that's how I created the glitch. I'm sorry. This one, I did use the plugin and to create a glitch, maybe in a future tutorial, I can show you how to create your own custom Twitch without any plugins. Amigos, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to get started in the field of motion graphics, make some money, definitely check out the book that I wrote. I put a link in the description below. And always remember that life is truly a gift, so make it count.